and uh, by the way if you change this second order um, if you change this second order approximation we have uh, where is the uh, we have over here right this is the second order approximation so if you set it to a first order approximation for example if you set it to uh, let's do a difference from 2 to n to 1 to n minus 1 so that's a difference biased towards the right right and at the very end the difference bias towards the right would be uh, u1 minus un and I'm gonna divide by 1 delta t as opposed to 2 delta t it's only gonna be first order right so if you run it uh, if I close Oh, I'm going to uh, run this. I'm expecting to get a first order accuracy, right? So log log. Uh, oops, I'm not getting a first order accuracy. So what, what's what's wrong with this? Unstable. Yeah, that's that's great. Uh, I, I'm glad you have a very fast response. Uh, the scheme is unstable. So it turns out that just by flipping the sign of u, if I make u to be minus ten, okay, the same scheme. Is now stable, right? So the one previously finished very quickly because it produced the nines or infinities pretty quickly and OD45 bailed out once it produces infinities and now it's working so let's cut it and uh, do this log log again so we can see that uh, well great we can see that now it's easier to see like uh, oh we actually don't see the lines so so let me let me plot plot a first order convergence here uh, so let's actually do one and e to the minus two right yeah so so we can see that as as my grid is very close I don't again I don't expect to recover any theoretical convergence as my grid goes finer uh, I start to approach this first order convergence why does the sign matter yeah that's a good question is it not accurate for real eigenvalue? Eigenvectors? Not really. The eigenvalue, because the smooth region is in the left half plane, and then you move the eigenvalues to the. No, but like this, the sign of the thing, the speed that you're multiplying it by the miniature. So what you care about is the eigenvalue is about the move, so you don't care about the two multiplying it. So don't, don't you, can't you rewrite it? Oh, I see. So if you think the eigenvalues of like a scalar times a matrix, then the eigenvalues are just multiplied by the scalar. A scalar times a matrix? Yes, uh, actually. Wait, yeah, a scalar times a matrix is multiplied by the eigenvalues. That's right. Oh. So you, can yeah. you can decompose a matrix into like, uh, like all diagonals. And then, like all the eigenvalues in that in the diagonal, so like, like this is pretty good intuition to why it's scalar is multiplied by. So the yeah. sign of the real actually changes eigenvalues. Yeah. So so eigenvalues are not a linear function of the matrix, but it is actually kind of linear to a scalar scalar multiplication. Yeah. Right. So actually, we still haven't answered the question why flipping the sign actually makes it stable. And just to make it more curious, right, I, I'm doing a d differentiation towards the, I'm biasing towards the right, right? How about I bias towards the left? So this is the first scheme, second order central difference. I get a, a right biased uh, first order difference. Now I'm going to try a left biased first order scheme. So, so I'm going to remove this to the first line. So U2 sorry left bias would be u1 minus u end uh, right so so at the first point it's the 
I'm biasing towards the left, which is on the other side of the domain, and the starting is from here, I'm bi also biasing towards the left. So this scheme, let's try it. Okay, so if I do the log log, well, unstable for negative use. But if I make u to be positive, I'm going to run evaluation of accuracy again. Uh, let's stop after it gets to 5000 something. So this one definitely is doing work, right? It's not uh, bailing out. Okay. Again, we see these uh, second order conversions. So the biasing of first order derivative to one side, as opposed to take it at the center, is actually a pretty significant concept in solving hyperbolic equations. It's uh, called uh, upwinding. Okay, and what does it mean? Upwinding means biasing your differentiation stencil towards the upwind direction. Now, what is the upwind direction? Against I mean, the yes, against the yeah the. the the direction of the uh, waves. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the yeah, right. I mean, think of physically, um, think of if you have a supersonic flow, right? And you want to look at the, you want to disputize the derivative at a certain point. And you use that derivative to determine should the flow property, should the mass density or velocity be increasing at that point or decreasing at that point? Where should you what where should you take the information to decide if the flow quantity should increase or decrease at that point? Of course it's the upstream direction, right? Because information only propagates downstream. If you use information downstream as opposed to information upstream, you are guaranteed to get the wrong results, right? Because you are actually using information from like a location that would have no effect on you and you are ignoring the locations in the space where information would have an effect on you. So this is analogous to that case. The central difference works, but it has a significant caveat as we are going to nonlinear uh, differential equations. So the for linear differential equation, this actually works pretty well. And this one of these upwind bias schemes would only work if the wave speed is even either positive or negative. Right? So so if the wave speed is positive, you are, the waves are moving towards your right. So upwind direction would be towards your left, right? So this is the proper upwind scheme to use if U is positive. Vice versa, this bias towards the right would be the appropriate upwinding to use if u is negative, the wave is going towards your left. All right, any questions? Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes confused between the waves downstream and upstream. So if the wave is moving this way, downstream would be. Downstream would be if you uh, hold a paper, release it, the paper is flowing downstream. We're taking from upstream. We are taking from upstream, right. So this is uh, upwinding if u less than zero. I don't want this guy. Okay, and uh, that would be upwinding, oh, it's actually percentage, if u is greater than zero. All right.